Hey folks, today we will talk about cost pu push inflation. So if you remember when we talked about demand pull inflation, now we're going to see what's going to happen on the opposite end of the curve. In this case, the supply side, or in our case, the aggregate supply curve. Now to visualize this cost push inflation, we have to draw our ADAS graph. So again, on the x-axis, we can go ahead and label this real GDP. Let's go ahead and use $19.1 trillion. Our origin, zero. And on the y-axis, we have the price level. Let's say 3% is the price level. Now we have our equilibrium point at 19.1 and 3%. We know from the previous videos that we have a very curvy short run AS curve and we have our aggregate demand curve as downward sloping. So we're not going to focus on AD but rather on SRAS. And if you look at some of the factors that affect the short run AS, we can look at something called cost. Now, one of the most fundamental types of cost we can see is that of energy. So we have lots of examples of energy such as petroleum or natural gas uh, that could even impact businesses, how they operate on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. So in the case of energy, we could see how a group of countries could get together and discuss ways to decrease or possibly uh, halt the supply of petroleum. In the case today, we do see a type of example called the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, known as OPEC. So they have gotten together ever since they were created in the 1960s to discuss ways on how to influence the price of oil per barrel. So let's say that OPEC decides to decrease the supply of petroleum. Energy costs is going to increase because when there is less of something, the value of that good is going to increase. So when these countries come together and decide to only produce X amount of outputs each month, each year, they are again influencing uh, the cost of energy. So we know that to make goods from vehicles, computers, tablets, you have to have energy to be able to produce these goods. This increase in energy costs will make it more expensive to produce these goods Thereby, it's going to shift the SRAS to the left, like so. We can label that SRAS1. And now I want you to see we have a brand new equilibrium point called point B. And at point B, we could look at the x-axis and see how there is now less growth in the economy. Uh, we can just put here less growth from our point A. And on the y-axis, we can see that the price level has increased, maybe 5%, maybe 6%. So now we can see that in this situation, we are at the very worst uh, quadrant we could ever be, quadrant two, where we have slow growth, which could also mean a higher unemployment rate at point B and high inflation. In other words, we can call this quadrant stagflation. And this is an example of cost push inflation.